What's going on guys, Plastic Beach X3 back here with another dual video from Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals. This time we have round two of our weekly tournament. On the right it's Trap Tricks. On the left is Drytron Turn Skip. Trap Tricks player starts out with the Field Spell Searcher. Searches a Field Spell, then links off into Sarah. Activates the Field Spell for another summon. Summons Dianea, just reborn back his monster, and then Sarah effect to set. I think that was Holtea. <laughs> and then make Rephlasia. Activate Holtea, discard a card to summon it. Uh, Sarah effect. It's Marmelio. Marmelio, Minotauri effect. But it doesn't resolve. Or it resolves with that effect. And then make Pingulukula. Allows him to search a Trap Tricks card. Um, yeah. Can't remember what else it is. <laughs> Searches the. Um, Oh, a Dianea, follow up, pass turn. Sorry about the glare on these videos. Um, I got there way too late because I had class. So I got to locals after round one was already over um, and I wasn't able to set up the camera properly. Usually the, the, the table is a lot more to the left. And that eliminates the glare problem, but I guess I didn't realize it until just now. Uh, change of heart on the Pingulicula. Swing over the Sarah. Um, it doesn't die because Rafflesia says that Traptrix monsters other than Rafflesia cannot be destroyed. By battle or card effect. Um, Rafflesia. Or he makes Zeus. Zeus effect. Rafflesia. Send Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare to negate and destroy it because it was summoned to the stern. Activate uh, talents. Or thrust. I guess is what they call it. To add uh, Drytron Nova. Nova summon Alpha, Link and Elite Karibo. Alpha Tribute Delta, search Benton. Delta Tribute Benton, reveal and draw. Benton search. I've been getting a lot of crap because I don't know the names of the Drytron monsters. Well, maybe I don't want to know them. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I really don't. I just, I know what they do. I just don't remember their names. So I've been calling like one beta, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean. You can see the cards. Um, Fafnir, send Gamma, Holtea, summon, um, Pingua, Pingula, uh, whenever Pingula is special summoned, it can banish a monster in the field, he banish, targets Fafnir. Normal summon diviner, diviner effect. Send Intus, Intus to pop the Trap Tricks Rafflesia. Zeta, or Gamma Tribute Zeta, 
to summon it Gamma and Alpha. I see an orange light in his hand. So whenever he <coughs> banished the Fafnir, I think he was debating on whether to orange light it. Interesting that he didn't. It would have negated it, but it wouldn't have negated it and destroyed it. Because the Reflation was on the field at the time. Link 4... Griffin set one pass it up and then uh, he gets his moon baited Fafnir back from Pingaluculus or Pingula's effect Trap Tricks player's turn, he activates Holtia. Wasn't uh, set this turn, so you can summon it without discarding. Overlaying to Redoer. Redoer to bounce the uh, Griffin by detaching a trap. And the Dry Charm player scoops it up after he summons Diana. Trap Tricks gets game one. Going into game two. All right, game two. Dratron goes first. Obviously not a good hand. He normal summons Droll and Lockbird and activates Where Art Thou to add an alpha. Alpha, Chirby, Delta. You get Ben 10. Or draw for Delta. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he added Ben 10. Okay. Ben 10, Tribute Delta. Reveal Medianus, draw. And then Ben 10, search. Or not. Makes move beta Fafnir to dump Gamma. Medianus to summon Ben 10. Ben 10 to summon, or uh, Gamma Tribute Ben 10 to summon itself in de Delta. Ben 10 add Herald, uh, or uh, sorry, Diviner of the Herald. So he should have one more Ben 10 search in hand. I think he just forgot it. Medionis to add back. Medionis. Summon the Draco Nids. Make IP, pass turn. Takes uh, 2000 with wear off though. Trap Tricks player normal summons Mermelio. He has an orange light in hand with the Diviner as well. Uses it. Change that card, uh, it protects his Trap Tricks monsters. Or no, he has to uh, control a Trap Tricks monster to special summon it, so he chains it. Draco needs to pop it, and then he sets three passes. Dritron player makes Dynamondo, which sounds like a JoJo, like if a JoJo character was a card, 
could be Dynamondo. Dynamondo. To shuffle a card on the field and uh, Ritual Monster in the Graveyard. And then Dynamondo. To summon the Draco Nids back. I think he's using Draco Nids here. I'm not really... Oh no, he's uh, tributing Moonbed if Fafnir for Alpha to add Ben 10. And it gets bottomless. Didn't realize that Moonbed if Fafnir had a 1500 more attack. And then Gravediggers to negate. Uh, the tribute or the uh, the gamma's effect and then Benton effect because he tributed it at a Herald Diviner of the Herald Diviner send uh, Arclight Arclight at Benton Triptease player summons Dianea, Marmelio, and then Draco Nez to pop both. Triptease player sets one, passes. Swing into Holtea. And then swing with Diviner. Set one, pass. I do know the Drytown player is on the turn skip version of this deck, he just not hasn't opened it yet or been able to resolve it. Maybe he slided out of it. A uh, Holtea target Mermelio gets called by the grave and uh Traptix player scoops it up. Drytown player gets game two, going into game three. Alright, Traptix player is going first. Normal summons Mermelio. Searches Grave Diggers. Makes Sarah. Activates Parallel Exceed. Overlays into Reflasia. Flips Holtea, discards Grave Diggers, Sarah's effect. Summon Dine to set the Grave Diggers. Overlays into Pinky Lakila. A little deja vu from game one. Pinguilicula detach to summon or to add a. That's the one that uh, you can quick play to summon, protect your guys, and then Sarah's effect. Didn't see what he set there. Set two more, pass turn. Draw turn player activates. Cyber Emergency to add Alpha. Zeta Tribute Alpha. Add Medionis. And then activates Nova. To summon Gamma. Mm. 
<clears throat> flips over Holtea. Activates Sarah. Someone's Pingula. Pingula banish one of these. Banishes Gamma. And then Pinguliculus effect to equip it. Now it's unaffected by... Pinguliculus is now unaffected by... Uh, I think fairies or lights. I can't remember if it copies... Or if it does attributes or types, but... Unaffected by fairies or lights. Um, activates thrust to add change of heart. Change of heart. Activate Solemn Judgment on the Change of Heart. Tributes Delta for a Drytron effect in Graveyard gets Gravediggers. Activates Delta, Tributing Gamma. And then gets Floodgated so that he can't make move but if Fafnir. <laughs> Tributes Zeta for Gamma. Gets Gravediggers by the Reflasia and then Sarah effect. at Holtea and then scoops it up GG so those guys uh, the Trap Tricks player takes it but as I said GG to those guys uh, make sure to subscribe to Plessy BeachX3 for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece videos peace